All right, so I bought a mystery lot of early 80s Opeachy hockey cards from a Facebook group. Um, also made a nice PC purchase. It's in the background here, this Bobby Orr, uh, 67, 68 card. Really nice condition. It's off-centered, obviously, but it had gum stain on it, which I had removed. Um, but the price was too good to pass up. So I'm going to send that guy in the PSA. So let's get right into the, um, the bulk stuff. Uh, he sent me some bonus cards. He sent this, uh, Jordan Stahl Young Guns, uh, 2008 or sorry, 2000. Yeah. 2008, 2009 Pittsburgh Penguins won the cup that year. Uh, he scored a huge goal in the deciding game. All right, so also sent me this bonus. I didn't even uh, pay for these. He sent me this whole pile of vintage cards, and then I did buy these uh, 1980s. So let's just flip through this stuff very quickly. It's going to be a long video otherwise. So I think there's 85 cards in this. 1980-81 lot. I think mostly commons. A few like this Lafleur, nice cards. Daryl Sittler. I don't think these are marked. Nope. Oh, there's a Ray Bork rookie record breaker. Jim Craig. I'm just gonna flip through these fairly quick. There's some lower grade stuff in here. Good set uh, fillers. He's got them all in uh, team orders. So there's some Rangers, Hedberg from the WHA to the NHL, Ulf Nielsen, I think, same thing. What else do we got here? Bunch of Rangers. Got an all-star Barry Beck. Oilers, Doug Hicks, some blues. Um, really liked this set when I was a kid. Uh, you got your Messier rookie, your Bork. A few other, uh, Mike Gartner, but a second year Gretzky and a bunch of Gretzky cards loaded with Hall of Famers. I, I really, it's one of my favorite sets with the, the yellow backs too. Let's see, we got another handful here. Let's motor through these. Dennis Heron from the Habs, Serge Savard. So there's some minor Hall of Fame names here. Uh, there's one. Mark Howe, all-star card on the cool mask there. Hardy Astrum, Al Smith, Rene Robert. The Rockies uniforms are really cool back then. Steve Shutt, all-star card. Mario Tremblay. Uh, some photoshopping going on in some of these back in the day, which is kind of surprising, actually, that they would even do that. That even had the technology. Uh, Dave Keon, the Whalers there. Epic uh, jerseys. Paul Reinhardt, and that's it for 1980-81. Let's jump right into the 81-82. He sent me a lot of like 400 cards. Uh, the cool part about this, so this was one of the cards here, was this Gretzky Record Breaker, which was cool. I think this whole lot was $45, which obviously is why I bought it. Uh, he bought a pack, and he sent me the actual wrapper and uh, the cards that came out of this pack, so they're nice and packed fresh. Let's see what they are. So, all right, I think one of these pack fresh cards has the gum. So yeah, really nice condition on the pack fresh ones. Uh, off centered as usual with typical vintage cards. It makes you appreciate centered higher grade cards for sure. Like there's, that one's centered fairly well. Merlin Malinowski, Rod Langway, uh, either coming off or going into the Norris Trophy seasons. He had two in a row. 
maybe this next two years after this card. I think this is the one that had the gum on the back. I, I tried to take it off, it didn't go so well. <laughs> so yeah, he, he must have opened this pack and I don't think he got anything that good out of it. So let's just flip through the, um, the lot really fast because there's like 400 cards. Let's see, we got Bork, second year, beat up. We got a few Larry Murphy rookie cards, that's cool. We got a uh, Lanny McDonald. So lots of doubles in here. Um, these are gonna be all over the place condition-wise. Again, this is another set that I really liked when I was a kid. Bought a lot of packs of these back in the day. Mark Tardif, uh, big points in the WHA there. Yeah, I really like this set. Let's see if we can find any good names. Oh, any Hall of Famers. Harold Sneps. Ian Turnbull, I think he has a pretty big uh, point game in his career. I can't remember what. Pierre LaRouche, Doug Risebrow. There's Langway again. Keith Acton. There's Marcel, Mr. Dion. Yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, <clears throat> lot of cards. I'm going to probably move most of it, keep some of them. But maybe I'll see how much of the set is in here. I like the older sets, 396 cards. They're not too big. There's a really rough, uh, I think it's Dave Taylor. There's Marcel Dion, Super Action. Bob Ganey, they literally invented the Selkie Trophy for Bob, um, for Bob Ganey, basically. Uh, random uh, 86 Bernie Nichols card. Uh, Bernie Nichols, one of uh, a few that have scored 70 goals in a season. Not many have done that. Uh, Gretzky, Lemieux, Curry, Hull. Uh, Solani, McGillney, I think, are the others. Um, I think I got them all. Oh, maybe Phil Esposito. Builder Lego. Got some... Uh, this guy was really good, too. Kent Nielsen. Uh, underrated. Yeah, goals and assists. So, 49 goals, 82 assists. What is that? 131 points. Big, big seasons he had at the time. Really, really fan of this uh, design. Yeah, Bossy had 69 goals a couple times, no 70. Uh, Lemieux had 69 goals in 60 games one year. <clears throat> Uh, McGillney and Solani did it in the same year, I think 92-93, both had 76 goals. Uh, Solani, that was his rookie season. Uh, McGillney should be in the Hall of Fame, which is kind of annoying, but he's got a Stanley Cup, he's got the points, he's also like a pioneer, Mark Howe with the captaincy. Kind of a pioneer as far as like players defecting from uh, Russia to come over. Like they were threatening his life. There's uh, Ray Bork, super action. Threatening his family. It was difficult for these guys to come over back, back in the day. Mike Zook. There's a bossy card. That's cool. Uh, game winning goal leader. Rogi Vashon, Mike Milbury with the, you know, the shoe incident. 
<laughs> Classic. Dave Keon, that's a really cool action card of uh, Dave Keon with the pen on it. Mike Liut, most wins in the 80s, I think. He was uh, another guy that could, should con uh, receive some Hall of Fame uh, consideration. He, um, there's another random card. He beat Gretzky out for the Pearson, uh, one of these early 80s seasons, maybe 82 or 83, something like that, maybe 81. Greg Terrion, we got some more. They got some Charlie Simmers. There's Larry Robinson, number 19. Talked about that recently. Bob Ganey, he won the first four Selkies in a row. Before that, there was no Selkie. Gila Fleur. Steve Shutt. 60 goals for Steve Shutt. There's Larry again. And they would go on to win a cup in 85 and again in 93. But then they haven't won since. I call it the curse of Patrick myself. The curse of Patrick Waugh. So we got Lanny. Uh, Lanny had a 66 goal season in the early 80s. Some people might be surprised to hear that one. I don't think we found, uh, there's a bossy record breaker. Another bossy, that's cool. Uh, I don't think we found Tiger Williams yet, or maybe I skipped past it. <laughs> and that is all for 81-82. Let's go through the little freebie box that he sent me as well. It's another one of these uh, plastic cases. Looks like we got some 81 or 82, 83s. Looks like mixed, mixed stuff. Mark Howe again. Gary Lehman. Dino Cicerelli, I think he might have put 600 goals up too. Mario Gosselin. Craig Janney, he was good for a few years in the beginning of his career. Zarly Zalapsky with one of the cool names. Got a Brindamore rookie card, a Medano rookie card. Oh, what else is in here? Let's flip these around. 90, 91s here. Bob Beers, Mike Gartner, Igor Larionov rookie card. Awesome player there. Michel Goulet, left winger, record breaker. He was amazing for maybe a 10-year stretch. All right, one more stack. Crucial Niski, I think he might have had a massive year playing alongside Wayne Gretzky at one point later on. Some 89, 89, 90s here, sorry. That one's miscut, just a little, eh? Let's see the back. Oh yeah. Just slightly off centered. Brad Park. Breaks or assist record. <clears throat> Most career assists. Park had a nice long career, was uh steady as they come. Bernie Federko, another Hall of Fame guy. Pat Riggin. And we're going to finish it off with a Mike Liu highlight card and Dan Maloney. Don Maloney. 68 games played that season for Mike Liu. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Uh, Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Going to do a giveaway soon. What I would like to do is find some more old vintage packs and open some of them. Maybe we'll see if I can find any. Um, PSA uh, reveal incoming, so stay tuned for that. Cheers.